down here and uh where the hell am I Mississippi right now I hear a bunch of things that are going off in the background if I'm quiet you can hear sound like a beetle or a cricket or maybe a panther it sounds like it may be a group of panthers anyway I can't find them and I don't even know where to start to look but I'm gonna try to go right through these trees before I look anywhere else. When I get to the other side of trees, here's where I am, in the middle of a damn field. And it seems like I'm further away from the sound. Let's listen closely to see where it is. Gotta be a cricket or either a panther or something. Man, in here in Mississippi, right here, what you're looking at is a native Mississippi plant. This is a bamboo. It tastes like hell, and you can't eat it. But I know how to eradicate it. What you do is, you take this glove like so, put it on. You can't use your working glove for this type of work. It's a one-hand work glove, one hand, you know, this glove this glove. What I do is I grab a six iron. Works a little bit like that. And if a six iron don't work, I grab a, uh, a lob wedge. Kind of like a pitching wedge with a lob wedge. I grab a pitching wedge and I just got You got to swing real hard with the pitching wedge. It may take a couple of cuts, but eventually that's how you eradicate bamboo. Here I am on the road here. Where the hell am I, Mississippi? And I'm trying to find out where the hell I am. And what you see here is erosion caused by water. You may call it erosion, but I call it a clue. Because wherever this, whatever caused this erosion came from up there. We're gonna find out if it was a storm or if somebody poured a drink out. Sometimes when you're in Mississippi, you don't know where you is. And right now, I don't know where I is. But it does look like that it used to be something. As you can see up ahead in the distance, it may be, may or not be, uh, is what it was, but it looked like it might be a bridge. And this may have been an old highway from 1865. An old four-lane highway from 1865 Right after the Civil War, they shut this highway down. And uh, I don't know one of those where this highway is now. But uh, back to the scene of the crime. Did somebody cause a storm or did somebody pour a drink out? Keep it going. I found a little bit of a clue. I found some tracks. And they lead all the way up to that way. They might be Uh, I don't know who the hell tracks these are, but they might have put a drink out. Sometimes when you drive real fast, it's hard to keep your hat on. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, especially when you gotta start looking the other way. But I got a little hat catcher. I got a hat catcher behind me that'll catch my hat. There's a lagoon. Oh, did somebody pour a drink out? Sometime when you're in Mississippi, you don't know where you is. And right now, I don't know where I is. But if folks behind me, you're gonna see a lagoon. I think it's a lagoon. It's either a lagoon or somebody poured a drink out. But we still looking. I see some primates up down there coming at this. Hold on. You will see what we call redneck on a four-wheeler. But you can't see him. So we're going to him. Sometime you got to go to him. What I'm doing now is I'm riding to the other side of the lagoon. As you see in the distance, you'll see some cars out there. 
in a moment, I'm going to find out if that's a lagoon or if they pour that drink in. Fast, when you put your hat back on, the faster and faster that you go, the more chance you got of losing your hat. And the more times that you turn your head, you got a chance of losing the hat. But like I told you, I got a hat catcher. He better than whoever the hell that fella was that hit that up. Oh, damn. Better than Yogi Berra, <laughs> that hat catcher. <laughs> what we got here, you may call it a bag, but I call it a clue. And I ain't gonna look in it, but it looks, it's pretty heavy too. You may call it a bag, but I call it a clue. But I ain't gonna look in it cause it's too heavy too. This was an old Gatorade bottle. We may be on the case where somebody poured a drink out. It looks like that uh, I may have found what the problem was and answered your question. And my question too, is that a lagoon or did somebody pour a drink out? But as I get closer to the lagoon, as you see, you're gonna find that somebody had a barbecue. Then they pour their drink out. Then they pour their drink out and now we got, not Lagoon, but somebody pour that drink out. If you didn't learn not a damn thing today, I hope you learn that you should never ever pour your drink out. He's a robber. Where the hell am I, Mississippi?